Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Joe at iTechList here, and today's video is how to use ProTube and Bridge together so you can download the audio from ProTube and use Bridge to convert it to your iTunes library on your phone, iPod, or whatever else you're using. Um, so, you need ProTube and Bridge. I do believe these both cost in Cydia. There are ways of getting it for free. A source will be in the description, but that's not what I'm talking about in this video. I'm going to talk about how to use them. So, once you have them both downloaded, you want to load up ProTube. And I'm sure you are all familiar with the ProTube layout. It's pretty much the same as the YouTube layout. Uh, so once you're on there, you want to search for your artist, song, or whatever whatever you are searching for. Whatever else you want to put into your library. It doesn't have to be a song. It can be whatever. Uh, so for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to search non-copyright because I don't want any copyright music being used. Uh, I'm just going to find any old random song. I have no idea what one I'm going to go for. Uh, let's go for... What should we have? Um, let's go for this one here. Nice and short, shipped it to download. My connection hasn't been that good recently. Autoplay. Turn off the autoplay. Right, so once you've found the video that you want, there's this little bar on the bottom here. Uh, simply swipe up or click on that button there. And you have this little list uh, for the purpose of video. Download. You can do a lot of stuff with it, but we're just going to download. So we're going to click download. And this should pop up, this little menu. You've got 720p right down to 240. But in this video, we want audio. So we're just going to click the audio right here. And as you can see, a little red one has appeared there by our saved, so a little red notification. Click on that, and you can see the song downloading. As you can see, my connection has been supreme recently as it is taking infamous, unlimited amount of time just to download 4 megabytes. Okay, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to pause it right here, and we're going to get back to the video once it's finished downloading. Sorry about this. Okay, sorry about that guys, I ran into a little problem, the the uh, audio wouldn't download, so I had to use a different one, and what I found out is that if if it keeps uh, freezing and not going anywhere, once you click download, uh, don't click on the download until the little icon has disappeared, the little notification, then it works, so if that happens, just try out that, uh, sorry about this, I had to use a different song, but it will still work fine. Uh, once you've downloaded the song, you can play it in ProTube, but if you want it to be in your library, you have to click on this little blue cross here, blue tick, and you will see at the bottom, import music library, that is a pr that's a bridge feature. Once you click on that, bridge will load up. And here you have where you kind of, it's, it's, very, it's a really good app, uh, where you can kind of edit your song, you can change the title, the artist, the album, you can also add an artwork if you have artwork selected, but I am just going to import it straight away because I don't really, don't really care about this song. Uh, click import, should take a matter of seconds, there you go, fastest imported. Go down to music down here, and if done correctly, let's try wait for it to load. If done correctly, you should have your song on there. I'm not sure what there's two there actually, but click on one, and there you go, it's playing. I'll turn it up. You know what this song's going to be like, so okay, here we go. But there you go, you now have the song that you've imported in your iTunes library for free. Uh, if this video helped you, remember to comment, rate and subscribe. I'm going to be doing another one on Safari Download Manager. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. So yeah, thanks for watching. Yo.